Hey there guys, Chris here with Min Media. In today's video, I'm gonna give you my full review on Gling AI. So I've been using this tool for a hot minute now and I absolutely love it. And I wanna show you some pros and cons of this tool. Gling AI essentially is an AI video editor and I wanna give you my full review on it, but also show you how to kinda of use the tool as I do that. So step number one would obviously be download Gling AI. It's a software biz, it's a software based tool that you put on your computer. So you just kinda of click and drop and drag and you just open up a video, right? This pop-up comes up and what this does is essentially this tool is designed to do these four different things right here. It will cut silences, it will cut bed takes, it'll jump cut zoom, and remove audio noise. So, and again guys, what I do for every single video that I upload on pretty much all my channels, and again, I have 10 monetized YouTube channels, is I run it through Gling AI, just because it saves so much time. You know, because the first step you do with mostly video editing is you throw it in the editor and you cut all the dead spots, right? Or, you know, like, or you do all the chopping of the bad takes, the audio noise, the cut silences, etc. And this tool does exactly that. So then we just click on enhance and edit. One of the biggest pros to using Gling AI is that you're gonna save a ton of time doing video editing. And also, maybe if you're paying a video editor, maybe you have to stop paying a video editor. And again, we're just waiting for the AI to essentially do all this video editing, depending on how long your video is and what size it is. You know, sometimes I'll upload like a 4K video in here and it just takes a hot minute. Sometimes it'll take 10 minutes depending on what quality your video is. This video we have right now is only 1080, so this should just be done in a second here. All right, so the video is finished here. This is what the editing dashboard looks like inside Gling AI. So first of all, what you can see here is it has a transcript on the left here. And what's cool is you can kind of like drop and drag and highlight words and you can just right click, you can delete it. You can essentially do video editing upon the transcript removing words. So what's kind of weird here is it decided to remove the entry or the intro to the video. So what I wanna do is right click on this and uncut this. What you can kinda of do here is just click play here. I'm probably gonna mute this just so we don't have to listen to it. And you can click play and listen. So just click play and then as you watch it, just go through and look at the transcription, right? And what's really cool is you can see the spots that it's removed. Like see right here, it's where it's, it says, and then uh, your video should show up here. And depending on how long it is, you know, sometimes it'll mess up the bad takes and that's kind of why you want to just kind of watch it. And all you have to do is just right click on it and then click correct like this right here. If I right click on this section, uncut. This essentially is kind of just a video editor that fixes like jump cuts. It will remove sound silences. It will remove bad takes and it's really kind of helpful. So what I do here once I get in here is I just start editing the video and I'll just click play and I'll listen in between the transitions and it works really well. Like I absolutely, this is a great tool. If you're considering signing up for it or using it, consider using my affiliate link in the description and get a free trial with it. It's free to try, so that's what's really cool. Just, I mean, you have nothing to lose, really. So then we just go through the video here, and there's a lot of cool things we can kind of do here. If you wanna play the video with the cuts, uncheck this, but if you wanna skip the cuts, which is essentially what you should be doing, that way you're watching it with the edits. Then you just click that and then you just click the play button and watch watch through your whole video here. We essentially have just like a glorified video editor built in here. What we can do here, say if like a section bothers you, like maybe this section of dead spot right here, I can click split, I can add a split there, and then I can click split here, and then I can remove this, right click, cut. And then I can essentially just cut wherever I want. It's actually really convenient. Then if you click play here, you can add cool overlays where like when I say the word subscribe, it automatically adds an overlay to have the video subscribe, the, to add this like a uh, notification or like emoji or graphic, I guess you could call it. So I've been using Gling AI in pretty much every single video that I edit just because it saves me a ton of time to automatically remove all the dead spots. You know what I mean? And then once this is done, I can put it into the video editor and kind of add B-roll in that and fix audio, etc. So another thing that you can do here, because sometimes as you listen to your video, you know, like maybe, maybe it gets it wrong in a certain section and it misses some words. All you have to do is click on the actual clip down here where it got it wrong and you can hover your mouse over the edge here and you can drop and drag if you want it to be farther. See how that, see how that works right there? And that little blip below here is actually the audio. So like what I'll tend to do is look at that blip and just have it right at the audio. 
because sometimes what it'll do is it'll cut it off a little too sharp and there is a setting over here if you click right here where it says pacing this is essentially where you can decide what type of pacing you want in between for it to split the dead air so if you wanted to split it at 0.5 seconds and remove it that's fine or if you want it at 0.6 or 0.4 I tend to do it at point four just because like I do a lot of tutorials where it's just like do 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 and people people want their information and they want it fast. When you click on the little dials here, like when I click on point five seconds or more, it says it removed thirty six pauses. So and if I go down, it's gonna remove forty three pauses, which is a total of fifty five seconds, which is pretty crazy, right? The thirty six pauses was fifty two seconds. You're actually removing a lot. So let's do point four here and then click apply. And then what that is going to do is going to re-render the video to remove all those dead spots. Like right here, you can see there's a dead spot right here, and that must be that must be point four seconds or less because it did not remove it. But if you wanted to manually do it, you could just click split and then click split there and then obviously cut. And what's kind of cool here is you uh, it'll jump cut zoom as well. Like it'll zoom in and out. So if you did a bunch of like front, front face camera, it'll it'll jump cut zoom for you, which is a really cool feature in my opinion. So some of the pros here, I save a ton of time video editing and it fixes all this with me. It does jump cut, cut zooms, it does retakes where you, when you say the same thing over again, it'll automatically remove that's really nice. One, one con I would say is that sometimes the AI screws it up. One more thing you can do when you title your project here, you can use AI to generate a title, which is kind of cool. It also has features to do AI generated YouTube titles. That's all you have to do is connect your YouTube account here and it will help you create YouTube titles, which is actually pretty cool. A lot of, a lot of tools are doing this now. Based on your transcript, it will use AI to kind of get you viral, viral worthy titles. Sometimes you gotta like manual come in here and drop and drag and fix it and listen to to it that does happen but with all of this AI stuff nothing's perfect you know what I mean and I've been using this to save a lot of time video editing so if that is something you're looking to do maybe you're paying a video editor maybe you can stop that maybe you're trying to fasten the pace this will drastically help you do that then after you are finished editing the video all you have to do is rewatch it I advise you rewatch it a couple times just so you know that it's good and then up here in the right hand side here you click export well actually you should probably save the file um, let's just name this video one and then you can just click on export and then you can save it in audio mp3 which is pretty cool I do that once in a while and say if you're just doing an audio only podcast or you can do an mp4 you can actually just directly have it open up in Adobe Premiere or Resolve which is awesome or you can just do mp4 and edit wherever you want so guys Hope this video helped you learn um, like what using Gling AI is in like my honest review on this tool. It's an awesome AI video editor. Please consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.